This is Dawn with DEK Designs. Welcome to our channel. I'm gonna do a plan with me for you today um, using the kit Pastel Fall. I'll go over this um, really quick. This kit actually um, was in, introduced into the shop a few weeks ago and it, it's actually gonna be shipping out tomorrow. Um, but it's in silver hollow foil and these are the full boxes the washi and um, date covers. This is a um, oopsie kit. There's a little speck, I don't even know if you can see the right there in the washi that's missing. Um, so I saved this for myself. Um, also there's a few cuts off here, but I won't even use those stickers, I'll use the rest. Um, but these are your scallops and flags and work labels and deco, your half boxes, your three heart checklists, your clipboards, your script, your headers, glitter headers, um, three heart checklist flags, page flags, and weekend banner. So we're planning for the first week in August, um, which is uh, August 2nd, but I did want to show you since um, it is a new month, I did decorate my dashboard with the August subscription kit, and I did a tip-in over here with the vellum. Actually, I put it, no. Um, and then I put the sticky pocket here. I still can write stuff in there if I want. And these are the rest of the die cuts that I haven't used yet. And then on this page, I just did a, a decorative layout um, similar to what I did in July. Let me just show you July's. So that was July. And then this is August. Um, and I did put down my monthly overview, and this is from the subscription box as well. So let's get into it. The first week in August, I can, can hardly believe it. I'm so sorry about my dogs. They're just annoying. They bark a lot. Um, I'm gonna put the washi down first. And I know this is a fall kit and we're like 107 degrees here or something crazy like that. But I only like to show you plan with me's with kits that you can actually still purchase in the shop. And um, so that's why I'm using the fall kit. because that would be no fun if you watched a plan with me and you weren't able to purchase the kit. Okay, and then I'll move into the date covers. I am going to be using our underlay boxes or bougie boxes um, and I will speed you up through that process but I just love how they add that little extra to the page and so I'll, I'm sure I will use them all year long. I will have everything linked below in the description to all the products that I'm using. And I am going to extend my washi over. put my 
my date dots down. Again, this is an oopsie sheet. So Monday is the second. I can't even believe it's August already. I think we're going to start releasing Halloween kits next week. So I know um, some people will be very excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'm going to start, I'll re-record -rec uh, in fast mode, um, putting down the underlay tapes. Okay, we got the underlay tapes down. Let's start um, decorating our week. So I'm gonna use this for the box up here. And then I'm gonna use a glitter divider. And then put down my meal tracker. And another divider. Let's go with the same color. And two habit trackers. Decorative app box. And let's see. Okay, sidebar is done. Put down my headers. And this is going to be my weekend banner. So for the weekend banner, I use the flags on this page. They fit perfectly across the two um, sets of boxes for your weekend. So I just stagger them, but if you line them up next to each other, they will fit perfectly across the, the two days of your weekend.
And then on this sheet is the scallop banner that goes over the top of them. And then your weekend script. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my full decorative boxes. So pretty. Oh, you know, I want to use the coffee hand on Monday for Coffee Monday. So I'm going to gently take that up and put it over here. And put the coffee cup over here. Just makes more sense to me. So this is going up a day later than normal um, because after um, orders the other day I went shopping with my daughter and that was a fun day. We went to Michael's and we actually had to call four of the Michael's here locally in, in town because um, the item I was looking for was sold out everywhere, but we did find one, the very last one, in Omaha. So I was very excited about that. Um, you, I'm going to show you tomorrow what I got on Instagram and on our new release video because I'm going to actually make some items with it today to go into the shop with... Um, the kits that are coming out tomorrow. So I have this um, box left over, which I love. Um, I kind of wish I would have used it there, but I like this box too. So I might end up still using it in the spread and maybe cutting it down, or I'll save it for my daily planner. Okay, now that the decorative boxes are in, I go in, and what I do is I put my glitter headers in. This um, just seems to be the quickest way for me to plan to get my boxes filled in. I'm excited these are so these are shipping out on Monday and I'm excited for you guys to get them it's such a beautiful kit Something about that silver hollow. <laughs> I'm going to use our scallops down below here. A little crooked there. so pretty okay on my to do's I always use usually always use a three heart checklist and 
and I'm gonna put a work label down. And a little label box. And uh, my work label. And a scallop. Um, I'm going to use um, these uh, um, day extenders on a couple days, so I'm going to use it on Tuesday. And actually, you know, I'm going to use that other full box on this. I had left over because I will have room to write inside. So let's grab that box. And just stick it on here. I love using those boxes. Okay. And another checklist. And my work label. Where did those go? Right here. Okay, I want to finish this page off before I flip over the planner. I'm going to add some extra boxes. I'm trying to keep the theme the same in the color, or the color the same within each column. Oops, grabbed the wrong color. a little box down here. And put one up here. Keep them with the blanket theme here. <laughs> checklist, another work label, and a label uh, box. a clipboard here. And a decorative box. checklist on both of these boxes here. Uh, 
Oh, I almost forgot my Friday work label. Okay, and then in here I like to use um, these uh, little scallops. Oh, actually I'm gonna use the same color because I did that on my boxes with the glitter. And I like to just line them up on the edge of each box like this. A little crooked but I'm gonna put some um, deco in here and let's put my little side boxes and since we're matching I'm gonna match them up and then I'm gonna put some deco in here let's see I don't want to use that because I have that right next to it. So let's use this rocker. And maybe a leaf. And maybe this pumpkin. No, I think that I think that's enough. I don't want to overload it. Okay. Now I put my script down. Um, so Sundays I plan. I'll stick that right there. And then Friday's movie night. Oops. And then hump day on Wednesday. And I think that's all the script that I'm going to use this week. Well, you know what? I want to put this in because I... Put it sideways there. I have a little sticking out, so I'm just going to trim it. Okay, so outside of the kit, so this was everything included in the kit except for the um, the underlay boxes. But I'm going to pull out some characters. And I already kind of put them together in my little releasable sticker book here. Um, knowing which ones I wanted to use this week. So Monday we have a big uh, postal run. We have a lot of orders going out. So I'm just going to stick that down here. Also Monday I want to call... Um, HP because we have oh that's sticking out here so I want to trim it a little bit um, we actually have one two three printers that are down and they replace them because um, they're under warranty it's been an ongoing battle for almost six years but they just, they tend to break very often and it's such a hassle, but we really like the quality of the printers, so we haven't switched. But it, every time I call it is at least a two, two hour phone call. So it's pretty frustrating. And then my little pretty doll 
um, I'm going to put down here on Wednesday. I am going to cut her a little bit so she fits better where I'm putting her. Right down here. And there she'll fit perfectly in there. She's so cute. Um, okay, so with my little tidy up thing that I want to do, I'm going to put a Lizzie down here. And I want to add a few little flourishes to this page. So I'm going to put one right here. Just that little extra, extra. I think Monday is fine. But I'm gonna put a couple on the um, sidebar here. that little extra extra <laughs> so that half of the planner is ready to roll let's flip it over okay um I know I want to film a plan with me on Friday I'm gonna trim her a little bit I don't really want her sticking over, so I'm just going to trim her. So that she's square here. <clears throat> she's so cute. <laughs> um, and... Thursday is going to be a heavy design day. And I don't mind that that's sticking out of the box a little because it's on the um, underlay tape. Let's put, I got two flourishes left, so let's go ahead and put those down. I want to put another little piece of deco right here. I think just maybe this. Well, I was going to use that tiny pumpkin, but this is the sheet that's miscut, so that won't work. Let's just use these little blankets. That's cute. So. Um, this is also from the sub box, the August sub box. So there is my week, the first week of August, in my print brushing weekly planner. I love the hollow foil. This kit is just adorable. And it's ready for all my plans. I hope you have a fabulous week. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe and notifications. And we will see you next time.